Hi, I'm Tom from the Burp Scanner development team. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about automatic session handling in Burp Scanner. Now this is something I've talked about previously regarding the crawl, uh, but today I'm going to focus a little bit more on how the audit automatically maintains session. Um, so let's dive straight in with an example app that shows why this is so important. So I've just created a little application here that has two pages. First, we're given a greet me, uh, a page with a greet me link, and if we click on that, we're given a page with some pretty obvious reflection. However, through um, some pretty basic cookie usage, this page will only allow five visits. So I'll just keep refreshing it before eventually it says no. It gives me a 400 and says, please stop. So that means that if we go and actively scan this page, so if we do an active scan, we're not going to find the reflection because when we start sending payloads to the page, we've already used up our uh, session for that page and we start getting 400s. Now, if you're getting 400s, if you're not hitting the application proper, your payloads aren't reaching the attack surface and you're unlikely to find any bugs. And this is why session handling is so important. Now, we could set up a manual session handling rule here, or what we could do is we could crawl and audit our application. So if I open this up, and I don't want HPS, I just want HP, and I go to localhost 8000, and I scan that. So what's going to happen here is Burp Crawler is going to explore the application, and it's going to find our um, vulnerable page. And not only is it going to find it, it's going, also going to figure out what steps it has to take to get back there again should it no longer be in session. This information will be handed off to the audit, and the audit will then try to find the shortest viable path that still gets us there. So in this case, nine times out of 10, or I guess five times out of six, actually just hitting the same page over and over again will work. And it will figure out, the, the audit will figure out that for the most part, it could just keep sending the base request and sending payloads in there. However, as those payload containing requests start to get versions of the page that it doesn't recognize that it doesn't see as matching how it originally saw the response when it was crawling, what it will do is it will stop and say, hmm, am I out of session? The way it works this out is we go back to sending an unmodified base request. We want to work out whether it's the payload that's causing an unexpected response or whether our session has died. So we will send an unmodified base request. We will check to see if we're still in session. If we are, we'll go, okay, well, it's maybe just that our payloads are causing the application to hand us back different responses, which is totally expected. If we're instead out of session, what we'll do is we'll go back to the full path to get back to that location, and we will rewalk it so that we go and get a brand new session. After that, we can go back to doing our simple path and keep sending our base requests, keep putting payloads in it until it happens again. And in this way, Burp Scanner will continually make sure that all of the payloads it sends are in session. If it ever works out that it has lost session, it will roll back to the last time it saw a successful session, last time it saw a payload being sent and getting a correct response, and it will rerun any scan checks that have been seeing unsuccessful responses <laughs> since then, just to maintain, make sure that we're getting maximum coverage. So as we can see here from our crawl and audit, we found our reflection, and we found the cross-site scripting that goes along with it. Now, this was a topic that was requested a lot by the community because it's not something that we um, talk about a great deal. If you have any more suggestions for things you'd like me to cover, um, just, just let us know.